I shine my light through the prism of poetry to project a silent technicolor vision of emotional emancipation, cranial liberation, and eternal celebration for every man, woman, and child who wonders whether they are colorblind or if their world truly only consists of black and white. I wish that I could use my pink pearl eraser to eradicate the agony of a mass perception that I and my brothers and my sisters are somehow one step behind on the journey to evolution. But my pencil yet erects a playground where little brown children can swing from this monkey's bars. And if monkeys see, then in turn monkeys do, then I pray that the zoo marches on behind me through fire hoses and handcuffs to the boating poles with the afro puffs their clenched fists, and their proud chins held high. If I could, I would inject the graphite straight into my veins, into the veins of my children to only help the pain better than any codeines or morphines or dopes or cokes ever could. But for now, I write on, my brother. Right on. I'm happy, and I approve this message. stuff on Facebook last night, like real posts from real people that happened to poke me in a place where I had previously struggled to find words. So first of all, I will say thank you Facebook for inspiring me to speak. The first was a video of this black guy eating some fried chicken and smacking his lips saying, you know, I heard some people want to go back to Africa, but I'm staying here with my white friends. Africa don't got this, don't got that, don't got that, don't I thought it might have been satire, like he was just kidding, and I hope that he was just kidding, but he looked just too serious. The person that posted it, you know, said, beware, this will have you rolling on the floor laughing. The comments under it was like, oh my god, this is the best thing I've ever seen. There was a hashtag, all lives matter, on the original posting of the video. And I was like, okay. Then you have this video of Black Lives Matter in white neighborhoods versus all lives matter in black neighborhoods and it just shows you know a white guy holding up black lives matter and they're like what's this and then they just talk a little bit then it shows a white guy standing in the black neighborhood with the all lives matter sign and a guy comes up to him and is like hey i would get out of here with that shit if i were you i wouldn't hold that sign here if i were you he's like are you threatening me or are you just trying to help me provoking people to anger he's like dude go Trying to tell him nicely. And then, of course, ten minutes later, he comes and gets his ass beat. I mean, they told him. They told him before. And the post comment was, you know, society is so warped and all this stuff. But what people either understand and pretend not to or just clearly don't see is that it's not about what you say. It's about what you do when you're saying these things. If I'm saying, black lives matter, please stop shooting me. And you say, no, black lives don't matter because all lives matter. Pardon me if I don't believe you that you think that all lives matter because your actions say that you don't care about black lives. If you did, you would hear me say, black lives matter, please stop shooting me. And you would say, you're right, black lives do matter because all lives matter. Let me help you solve this problem so we can solve all the problems. The final one that really, really got these words going is the video that killed Black Lives Matter. And it's outlining all the black-on-black -black crime that happens in neighborhoods and all the, all the troubles that police have to endure. That's not what we're talking about. There's crime. There's black-on-black -black crime. There's white-on-white -white crime, which no one seems to ever think about in life. There's just crime. That's the point of a policeman, is to go in to dangerous situations and break up crime. We understand that. That has nothing to do with the illegal, unnecessary murders of innocent people that's caused by miscommunication, prejudice, and trigger happiness. Crime is a problem, but all crime matters, including the ones committed by policemen. All we're asking for is a little bit of accountability. That black, white, Muslim, gay, Chinese people can't just get shot, brutally murdered in front of everyone for no reason, no reason whatsoever besides miscommunication and prejudice and trigger happiness 
and not be held accountable. That's the problem. But every time somebody says, hey, please don't do this, they say, well, you deserve it. No, that's not how things work. You know, in that video, the guy saying, stop saying Black Lives Matter until y'all start protesting the crime that blacks do to other blacks. That's not a bad point. But do I think that all the shootings and crime neighborhoods are terrible? Yes, you know why? Because all the lives matter. The white lives that get shot by other white people, the black lives that get shot by other black people, the Latino lives that get shot by other Latino people, that sucks too. But that's not what I'm talking about right now. There's always a perversion and diversion from, hey, I just want you to be accountable for your actions to, but you're a savage, so I deserve to kill you. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. Maybe I'm wrong. And I know that not everyone thinks the same way, but I know that a lot of people think this way because I've seen it with my eyes, I've heard it with my ears. It's all over our culture. The point of the matter is, my father is a law-abiding citizen. My brother is a law-abiding citizen. They took no oath to fight crime. They don't put on guns and tasers and batons to go to work or school. They're just going. But all it takes is for one mistake. I've seen my dad get pulled over because he fit a description of somebody that robbed Dollar General. But when you say six foot five black man, that's like a quarter of Huntsville. All it takes is for him to fit a description to be just a little bit bigger than the policeman involved and for him to move too fast or too slow or talk too loud for him to not come home that's the problem people in chicago shooting each other has nothing to do with what i just said and there is no way that you can justify it to me without making me see you as an animal that wishes to perpetuate savagery because that's what it is. I don't know, man. It's one life that I live in, that you live in, that we share. It is our life matters. Black lives matter. All lives matter. Our life matters. <laughs>